electromagnetic railgun technology. What we are trying to do is trying to bring uh, master this technology. Hello and welcome. My name is Shailesh Kumar and you are watching National Defense. Today, I am being joined by Dr. Praveen Kumar Mehta, Director General, Armaments and Combat Engineering of the DRDO. He is the man behind ATEX gun developed by the DRDO in collaboration with the Tata SE and uh, Bharat, Bharat Forge. That gun has created world record. Sir, let's begin with the ATEX gun. You have been the major force behind the development of this gun. So how this idea was conceived? Because India was really looking for an artillery gun. After Vapos, we have seen that the Indian Army was not having any gun and we have not procured artillery gun for long decades. Yeah, Selesh, uh, firstly happy to be on National Defense. Look, uh, our country, we have not got any gun since uh, Bofors have come in the country. Bofors is a good gun. but we should have our own gun. And with that intention, ARD at Pune, under Armament Combat Engineering Cluster, have configured an advanced towed artillery gun, which is known as ATAX. This particular gun has come out to be the highest ranging gun. It has fired more than 45 kilometers, and which is the uh, limit, which is the limit elsewhere, and we have been able to reach that range. The difference it makes is that your enemy cannot, even if he locates you, he cannot reach you, but you can reach him deeper into his territory. That gives a lot of tactical advan advantage to our services. With that, we have developed two industry partners, as brought out by you, Tata Power ACD and Bharat Forge. Both the companies have come out with uh, different, they are similar, not exactly identical, but two models of them and both prototypes are undergoing trials presently. They have been tried out at uh, Pokhran, PFFR Pokhran, as well as in the high altitude. I am happy to inform that both the guns so far are tried out well, they are firing well, and we are in a stage where we should be able to uh, make this gun uh, matured enough that they are able to being inducted with the armed forces. We are quite hopeful on that and uh, this is a uh, flagship project of this cluster. It has uh, done good, uh, good so far. We are quite confident this is an all-electric drive gun system of its kind for this class of gun system. And uh, yesterday uh, in DEF Expo also, it has been uh, demonstrated in the live demonstration to the uh, Pradhan Mantri, Sri Narendra Modi ji and the Raksha Mantri, Srimati Nirmala Sittamranji and all the other dignitaries, they have witnessed the demonstration of this gun. And uh, Pradhan Mantri ji has seen this gun from a close quarter and uh, our armed services, they are also very appreciative of this. And they would also like to join, they would like to guide and join DRDO in maturing this particular gun system for the country. So before I go to indigenization, I want to know whether there have been order placed by uh, the Indian Army as DRDO chief just pointed out when I asked uh, how many uh, I've heard that 2 plus 2 plus uh, 3 plus 3 and then uh, 40 are in, uh, in place. Well, uh, I will not get into numbers so far. Uh, what I can tell you is this will be a classical example that how a indigenously developed system can get parallelly ready for the limited series production or the, uh, the production line setup with the industries happen along with the development. We, have try, we are trying to pursue this model in the tactical systems for this gun and if it succeeds, the total cycle time for introduction of such systems with armed forces would shorten and that would facilitate the manufacturing capabilities coming up in the country along with the development of the system. So once we are ready with the development, 
the requisite numbers with the armed forces would be made available in the time frame they are looking for it. So believe, you believe that uh, the government is trying to project India as the emerging hub of defense manufacturing and this attacks gun is the classical example. I would agree with you. Nothing more than that. But uh, we would like to see that more and more indigenously developed systems which are built by our industries along with the DPSUs and ordnance factories, they find more and more places with the armed forces. Viewers, I must tell you that Dr. Praveen Mehta is also behind uh, uh, a very crucial technology which is a world technology and believe me, India is not behind in developing this technology. Uh, there are only few countries which have this technology and this technology is the railgun technology. US has uh, been trying to master it and the China recently has mounted a railgun on a ship. However, nobody is sure whether it was a dummy or it was a real railgun. But I can tell you with certainty that the DRDO ARDE is developing railgun and the railgun uh, project is so crucial. Let's listen in from the horse's mouth. Sir, please tell us about the railgun project. It's a futuristic technology and we are so proud when we hear that our DRDO can develop this technology, sir. Well, uh, let me tell that this is a new technology which uh, this particular armament combat engineering cluster is working on, which is a electromagnetic railgun technology. What we are trying to do is trying to bring uh, master this technology and try to uh, make it uh, so compact that it is possible to make a system out of this. I am happy to inform you that uh, this particular technology has been uh, in the advanced stage of maturing with the DRDO and we have come out with, we have fired some projectile and the results are very very encouraging. We could achieve a speed of more than 2 kilometers per second. With 100 grams? With the 100 gram projectile and we are trying to enhance it further. We are trying to increase the projectile weight and but of course it is a right now in the SNT mode, the science and technology mode. Once we master this technology, we would like to make products based on this technology and I don't see that day is very far when DRDO would be able to field a uh, product which is based on this technology. We have been trying to master it and I would like to say that the progress in this particular area is we are almost at par with the any other place where this particular technology is happening and we are not far behind in this should be able to make a good product out of this. Uh, we are quite confident and uh, we have full faith in DRDO's capability as they have uh, developing lot of technologies a uh, long long time back and now we see those technologies are uh, the master technology in the world and uh, so would be the railgun. So perhaps uh, that's very important sir, to talk about indigenization because this particular DEF Expo is a paradigm shift. Uh, when we are moving from being defense importer to defense exporter. So, whatever technology developed by DRDO, we have seen that technologies are being transferred to the private industry. We have seen that how indigenization by the DRDO and uh, likes like HEL has really helped uh, this country grow uh, into a manufacturing hub. Please tell us about your viewpoint, sir. Well, uh, we are our charter is to make uh, more and more indigenously developed product for the country, for the armed services. And uh, we in DRDO at Armament Combat Engineering Cluster, uh, we are also uh, trying to do our best in getting more and more products developed indigenously. I would like to uh, mention that in uh, tactical weapon and ammunition system, we are trying to bring more, more and more indigenous products and the shift what we are trying to do is for any product or any technology what we do we always try to uh, generate enough manufacturing capacity in the country wherein we should be having at least more than one source available to us so when the uh, when the product is uh, uh, established the product the technology is mastered then we are able to get the requisite numbers in the time frame what user is looking forward and attack is a classic, classical example we spoke about that we have got two industries and uh, le let me add that there are many other industries including ordnance factories who are making subsystems of this particular gun similarly uh, if i talk of ammunition the fsapds 
which I have talked to you earlier also, that we are in an advanced stage of making the ammunition also totally indigenously and there is a good prospect of this ammunition finding the list for the export of this ammunition. And once that happens, as you said, we should be able to moving from the net importer to, you know, either reduce our import and of course eventually we should try to become exporter also. You would have seen that DRDO has done many technology transfers including in this DEF Expo and there is a huge technology, the TOT fee has been uh, generated by DRDO and it has been, uh, it has made the news uh, yesterday when we have doubled, we have given the, handed over the project products from uh, at the hands of uh, Raksha Mantri and also number of technologies were transferred to the industry partners. I see in the time to come, DRDO would generate more and more technologies, they will generate more and more industry partners who would make products out of this and they would be making it available to the armed forces and once we are having self-sufficiency, the complete indigenization in this area, I am quite sure the NASH, it will bring good of, lot of strength to the nation and we would be standing on our own products, we would be fighting with our own products in the oh. time to come. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, had the Dr. Kalam uh, been alive, believe me, he would have been so happy. His dreams are realizing now, given the leadership uh, by Mr. Kalam and followed by Dr. Sharaswat and then Dr. Christopher and leaders like uh, uh, Dr. Praveen Mehta, who is heading, uh, he, who is the Director General of uh, uh, armament and combat engineering. So perhaps uh, these are the technologies which are being mastered by DRDO and then in future we will see how India is going to be the superpower because if we have the weapons, if we have the capabilities to produce the best in the world then definitely enemy will keep uh, itself at the bay because they understand that they cannot fight with India. So without having war, organizations like DRDO can prevent and deter enemies so perhaps this is the power of science and technology which DRDO is bringing in in the defense manufacturing phase and the way the whole uh, government is projecting and I'm quite sure the DRDO would be having enough funds as uh, uh, the, there was a time when uh, there was lack of funds but now I'm, I'm quite sure however I would not ask this question to Dr. Mehta but I'm quite sure that the government is in full support of the DRDO like organizations and they are doing wonderful work and thank you uh, Dr. Praveen Mehta uh, for this particular interview. I'm so grateful to you sir that you came on National Defence sir. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you Salesh and thank you National Defence. Please keep watching National Defence. Jai Hind.